Excellent! You guys ever have one of those days where it just feels like even though you've been doing stuff, you really haven't gotten much done? It's kind of like what today's feeling like. What do you think, Dougs? No? That was perfect, Hero. But my situation did give me an idea for what to do for a video today, and that is to give you guys some advice. Hopefully, good advice. Whenever I'm feeling like I can't get much done, my solution is always to put on some music. So I'm going to be working out here in my main living room, family room area because uh, I don't want to have two air conditioners on and save some electricity and stuff. Uh, I'm going to use the, the new HTPC setup or the work in progress HTPC setup to put on some tunes, listen to some music, and get down to work. And uh, I'm, I'm going to then set up some stuff out here on the table. I have my overhead camera rig set up here behind me and that will be uh, doing a little time lapse and I'll get some other footage in there as well. And for you guys, maybe it'll be some, some helpful motivation or maybe just something to sit and watch while you guys procrastinate what you might be planning on doing today. But if you do catch any of the details of what I'm working on, I actually have two big projects coming up that I'm going to be setting up for today. So uh, post in the comments. Let me know what you think those projects might be, and then I'll come back at the end and let you know how things have gone. Let's check in one more time with the dogs before I get started. There is Hero, taking, taking her easy as usual. But I think we should let Nori segue into the next part of the video by lying there and looking cute. And I am back. I hope you guys have enjoyed that little bit of time lapse. I've actually just been uh, editing or putting together that time lapse so I can render it out. And I've realized that a lot of it was pretty much, you know, just shots of this table. Uh, getting set up, of course, with all these test beds and then just me sitting there for a while. So um, I hope it was at least somewhat entertaining for you guys. But for those of you, you at the beginning of this video who are at least attempting to figure out what the heck all I'm doing back here, uh, let me get down to it and explain what exactly I've been setting up. But it is Friday now. I kicked off this video on Thursday, so I have spent, uh, I want to say, 8 to 10 hours on Thursday and Friday working on this whole thing. These are test beds. I have three of them, actually. One, two, and then the third one is over on the chair over there. And I'm setting all of these up very specifically, and this is for those of you guys who are possibly trying to guess what I was working on, so I could test these guys out. These are two Asus GTX 1080 Ti Strix graphics cards and I am going to be using these in my next water-cooled build, the recreation of 
the build known as Arctic Panther. Now because I want to give these the best home I possibly can, I needed to test to see which uh, platform was going to be the best, most suitable home for them right now, and it's not really an easy question. There's a good amount of testing out there on uh, SLI 1080 Ti's, but I wanted to test for myself, so I set up an X299 system right here. I also set up an AM4 system over here with an 1800X uh, and the Crosshair 6 Hero, so I could test that out. And then, of course, I could not go without testing a 7700K, so that's my Z270 test bed, which is right over here, and I've been swapping those 1080 Ti's all around to get them in the different systems, and I'm, I'm not quite done yet, actually. I am most of the way done. Here, let me turn the system on. Most of the way done. Um, but right now I've been doing tests with the 7740X, as you might be able to tell right now because only two of these uh, RAM sticks have lit up. It's not using this other bank right now. Um, so the 7740X, I was able to overclock to 5.1 gigahertz. But all of this is going to be covered in my next video where I actually go over all these benchmarks and stuff. Uh, next on my to-do list is to pop in a higher core count option and see what that does for me. So I do have the 7820X here. So that's going in next, and of course I'm overclocking the snot out of everything to give my graphics cards the best possible chance they have at performing. Now the reason I've made such a mess out here in my dining room and ran cables across the ground and everything is because I wanted to do everything fresh. So all of these test beds have kind of been freshly put together. I wiped the uh, SSDs that were on there, and I did clean installs of Windows 10 on all of them. I've actually got the Creators Update installed even, so we're going as new as possible. And then of course, latest NVIDIA drivers and uh, drivers available from the manufacturer's website, uh, latest uh, AGISA update for the uh, AMD system and all that good stuff. Just wanted to give these systems the best run they had possible at uh, actually getting the most performance out of the 1080 Ti's as I possibly could and then of course I uh, had to bring my 4k monitor out here too. That isn't all I did though aside from running uh, ethernet cables all across my home I did get the chance that you might have seen towards the beginning to swap this passive cooler that I did the video on just a few days back actually onto my home theater PC. My home theater PC is still just all sitting right here on top of my subwoofer um, but this means that it's pretty much all passive now well, not pretty much all, but mostly all. So I've got uh, a, a 1080. I ran out of 1080, 1080 Ti's. First world, world problems, I know. So if I put a 1080 uh, for the Win 2 from EVGA on here, and this this does have the fan stop mode, although only one of the fans is actually fan stopping right now. But um, when it's not doing anything, when it's just chilling, those will both stop. So there will basically be no fans spinning on this at all. The system has actually been doing a really good job just doing HTPC stuff for us in the past uh, week or so, though. My next thing I need to do really is get rid of that mechanical drive because that does make some noise from time to time. Then of course I'm, I'm going to wall mount this um, and more on that hopefully very soon. And that final bit of tease is going to be these right here which I haven't really done anything with other than taking the boxes and setting them here as a teaser for you guys. But Ryzen 3, yes I actually have both of them. AMD sent these over so I've got the Ryzen 3 1300X. And I've got the Ryzen 3 1200, and I'm still figuring out exactly how I'm going to handle coverage of these guys because uh, expectations are already pretty well in line. These are basically going to be um, like Ryzen 5 quad cores with hyper threading or with simultaneous multi threading turned off. But these are going to allow people to build uh, Ryzen based systems for a much lower price because these are only supposed to be in the low $100 range. So, uh, as long as I can flip these over it. There we go. All right, so uh, coming soon. Ryzen 3 coverage too. Did you guys notice my uh, my SLI bridge here? My hand bit, high bandwidth SLI bridge from ROG. I think it's pretty fancy. It actually has RGB. This is supposed to be a touchpad, but I think right now it's just defaulting because you're supposed to be able to touch it to change the, the colors. But uh, it also has a lead, so you can take it, connect it up directly to a motherboard. So. Um, uh, that will be a nice finisher for the RGB-ness of my build. And um, yes, when I do actually build the system, uh, I'm not gonna, this is this motherboard I just wanted to test out for the overclocking. This is the MSI uh, X299 Gaming M7ACK, uh, but I will be using an ASUS uh, board for uh, this build, so everything will match up at least as far as the lighting is concerned. And guys, that's going to need to do it for today's video because like I said, I need to get back to testing with this rig and uh, swap that CPU in. 
and overclock it and finish off my round of benchmarks with the 1080 Ti's and SLI. And then of course I need to get those Ryzen 3 CPUs installed so I can start testing those out as well. Got a lot of benchmarking still ahead of me, but uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Although it was just sort of a day or two in my life out here doing tests and benchmarking in the dining room. Again, I'm working out here because it's really hot in California. It's the summer right now, so working in the garage means I have to run two air conditioners and just trying to save a little power. And also it's, it's a little bit more pleasant out here when it comes to the dead of summer and how hot it gets. But anyway, thanks again for watching this video. Hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy it and leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think is gonna happen, uh, what the outcome will be of my 1080 Ti SLI experiment because uh, I'm, I'm curious to find out myself. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.